And uh, before I start with the details, Seth, I, you know, we, we, need, we should deeply understand about, you know, what's the current social system or social regime, which also actually indicate for us to much more easier way to understand what are the new, new social trends. Because all the time in old to new ones, you know, these old one is collapsing and the new trends coming up too. So these, you know, new trend all the time is solving the problem with, you know, older social regime. That's why, okay? So let's review. I'm Mr. Massa. So this time is you know this topic. So how Corona crisis brings us the social change and what new investment trend will come up. So you know because of the Corona shock, a lot of your new things are happening in this world right now. And especially you know this picture kind of indicates like a very critical change that we're gonna experience right now. So the before the you know Corona shock, human activity actually harming a little bit in you know, human and also environments. But now, because of the corona shock, actually also in much more healthy right now. So, you know, through this kind of corona crisis, that we can see about the new social, you know, regime will be come up, you know, about the next generation, you know, the post-capitalist society stuff. So uh, let's review it and you know share my thought about it too. Okay, so let's start. And before I start at the detail, I'd like to share about the kind of my, you know, past history. We can learn a lot of things about, you know, the same thing that would have already happened in a society. And then a social change always causes a new investment trend. So, for example, Asia with discovery came from actually originally from the, you know, religious revolutions, which can happen almost like a hundred years ago, you know, about this timing. And then because of that, us is not like an actual square, but actually a you know, kind of sphere model. So, you know, a lot of people were extremely curious about the, what's going on, you know, except the, you know, European countries. So, you know, a lot of people, wealthy people actually invest in about the, those kind of explorer who are going to travel around in a world basis, like crumbs or Mazarans. And then they, you know, find a lot of like new wealth, such as spice, or some people are also understanding the plantation, you know, like new country there too. So, you know, this is kind of new investment trend about at the age of discovery. And the second one is also the industrial revolutions. And before the industrial revolution, actually, you know, democratic system promotes a lot of like new type of capital distribution by the capitalists. And then, you know, with the you know, industrial revolutions, a lot of capital go into like, you know, manufacturing industries. So that was a new investment trend. And then through this one, like the car, or trains, those are new investment target in, a, in the time of like industrial revolutions, okay? So this time is, you know, you kind of also things in happening, you know, in the world too. And before I start about the detail stuff, I, you know, we, we, need, we should deeply understand about, you know, what's the current social system or social regime, which also actually indicate for us to much more easier way to understand what are the new, new social trends. Because all the time in older to new ones, you know, these old ones is collapsing and the new trends coming up too. So these, you know, new trend all the time is solving the problem with the you know, older social regime. That's why, okay? So let's review it. And the first one is globalism. So they simply say the globalism is expanding the human activity in all over the world, entire earth to fear. So that's the you know, basic idea of the globalism. So the human activity overwhelming the whole Earth's environments. That's the globalism, okay? And the second is a big country. So like, you know, US, Euro, China, or Japan used to be. So, you know, all the like, you know, countries wants to be the big one. And to me, all the time, you know, that kind of activity reminds me of Roman Empire. Because, you know, the Roman Empire is kind of world, you know, well governed empire, you know, you know, history. And then, but to me, you know, a lot of like in country in the past, all the time trying to be a Roman empire, okay? So, you know, these big country also all the time think of it the same way too, right? And the third one, big corporations. But it's actually kind of similar to the big, you know, country too, but also the big corporations also expand their business in a global basis. So like, you know, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, or General Electric, or like in you know, Google, or Facebook, Samsung, Mercedes, or like in you know, Twitter, all are like, you know, the big corporation player who are gonna hire the massive amount of people and, and provide usually, you know, tech, high tech, you know, business stuff in a global basis stuff, right? So this is not, you know, the macro social trend in a capitalist society. And the last one is the mega city, which is actually directly connected to the big country and, you know, big corporations because all the center functions 
overseas and big countries, you know, governments and also the headquarters and the big corporations have their office in a mega city. Like, you know, Tokyo is a good example, but also Shanghai or New York, you know, those are the actually kind of typical mega city in the world. And then, you know, since the big corporations need to hire like, you know, over around like, you know, 10,000 people or 100,000 people in one place for the headquarter functions. So they need a huge, you know, big city to run the organization staff. So that is why, you know, we have, you know, kind of a you know, very big city in the world and in which, you know, the daily population number in those cities is usually sometimes over like, you know, the 10 million people in the daytime, right? So this is one of the good indicators of the mega city, okay? So these are the kind of major four characteristics of the current, like in a capitalist society, in a global, globalism-based one, right? And uh, this one, you know, these four elements is completely destroyed with the new social trends through the, you know, coronavirus, you know, pandemic stuff, okay? So, you know, new social regime after the corona crisis. And then it simply say it's a post-capitalist society. That's what I want to tell you guys. So, you know, over 200 years, you know, since starting from a 17th and 18th century, we're going to experience like, the capitalist society. So those people who have a big capital is a king in this social regime. And uh, this kind of system will be completely crapped or destroyed through this you know, pandemic and corona shock. Okay. And uh, to help you understand this point, I think, you know, you know, the relations with, with the dinosaurs and the mammal almost like, you know, almost like a long time ago, which is actually, you know, reminds me of the kind of same things that would happen here, you know, current, you know, all social regime. And why? Because, you know, the dinosaurs it consume massive amount of energy, just like a big countries, big corporations, a mega city. Okay? And the mammals is actually, you know, much smaller size of like an animal stuff. Actually, you know, they are much more, you know, higher functionality and more capability to adapt their, you know, the social behavior into the Earth's environment compared with especially dinosaurs. Because the dinosaurs, first of all, they don't have any kind of a stable you know, temperature inside, so they have to you know, take a lot of like, food or energy stuff to survive in the market, you know, in the isolated environment. On the other hand, marmor actually can maintain their body temperature more efficiently, and then they consume less energy in the isolated environment. So, you know, they were more advanced player in the isolated environments. But before the, like, you know, the, things happen you know, in this you know, environment stuff, you know, dinosaurs, mammals, it's coexist together, and then they are competing each other, but actually from the power-based one, dinosaurs is much more powerful than mammals. So, you know, the dinosaurs is a dominant player, and the mammal is kind of minority player in the social regime in our environments. But, once, like, you know, the big meteor, you know, hit the Earth's environment, Suddenly, the you know entire environment on Earth is you know changed, and then, you know the Earth is much much cooler than before. That because of that, you know the food supply in you know, Earth environment is shrinking, and in this environment, actually dinosaurs could not survive at all because you know they need a little bit of energy, just like a mega city or you know big corporation stuff. So that is why you know eventually dinosaurs is extinct, and instead the mammal have you know the best timing to prosper themselves on our environments. So new social you know, transformation would happen you know, in this environment. And to me, the you know, COVID-19 new coronavirus just like you know, you know, play a role as a meteor on the global you know, capitalist stuff. And then they're, they're gonna destroy all the four major elements that I'm intending you in a previous slide. And then they're gonna build up and help that the new social regime is coming up in our environment in a human activity, okay? So that's what I want to tell you here. So let's into the, you know, the details are from here, okay? So first one is, you know, modernized small country is a more advanced model or a most more successful model better than big countries. So this is kind of a good example. So this is, you know, the stats from like John Hopkins University, who's gonna, you know, the curriculating about the, how much infection number they're gonna have in you know, each country basis one, like US, Spain, Italy, and those in prayer. And then this is the top 10. And when you look at the disease, you know, and the name of the country, you know, simply say, you know, they're gonna you know, categorize one of these each countries, right? You know, US, you know, Euro, or China. And then these are the one of the major the big country in the world. Alright? Instead, when you look at the like in you know, Taiwan, you know, 
it's a much more, you know, they're also kind of modernized currently, but the things I want to appeal to here is this number. So 425 is the investor number in Taiwan, and you know, as of like April 22nd, but you know, this is actually the 0.0019% in the total proportion. Okay, while US is actually 0.25%, which is actually, so the difference is 13,100% here between Taiwan and US. It's a huge difference. But Taiwan is successfully managed, you know, they're like a coronavirus, you know, solution staff in a very effective way in a short period of time. So they're gonna maintain this number in the low on the war. But when you look at the US number here, it's much bigger than this number. Then why this kind of things happens? Because you know, the big countries have you know, multiple stakeholders. They have large populations, large lands, and a little bit of stakeholder in you know, each location staff. So that is why, you know, if they want to take the you know the aggressive action towards some kind of like a you know, coronavirus you know, solution staff, it takes time to implement the right, you know, the execution in a short period of time. Alright, because of you know, so just like a dinosaurs. But a mammal player, like you know, Taiwan, is doesn't have that kind of a complicated you know government structure, so they can take proper actions much faster than you know the large uh, the large countries. So this number indicated those elements too, because in the top you know top tens, there is no you know modernized country, small country in this list. That's why. And also other things that we can learn from actually New York you know and the states here. Because you know the New York is a mega city in the United States, and uh, their infection number is over 250,000, and which is actually you know they have like 30 percent in total number of the total infection number in the U.S. All right, then why this kind of thing can happen too? So another example is how the mega city is so vulnerable to the pandemic because of the large you know population out there, also like you know the high population density in that area. So, you know, there is a huge cluster risk that actually has happened. You know, the cluster is actually happening in this New York City. So that's why this kind of thing happens. But instead, like, you know, Taiwan, Taipei is a kind of major city in Taiwan, but, you know, much, much smaller city than New York or Japan and Shanghai. So, you know, they can, you know, they maintain their infection number. It's much more lower rate. Okay. The next one, self sustaining community town is a new trend than metropolitan city or mega city. Then why this kind of thing happens is this one. So because of like you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, worldwide you know, supply chain is corrupting or destroyed. Because you know, starting point is actually with China, that is why. Because you know, a lot of countries, especially big corporations like Twitter or you know, Google or Samsung or you know, German, also you know, have their factory inside China, that is why all the supply chain network to dispute with their production stuff is completely crashed. Okay? And the city, the mega city, actually they have no functions to produce anything. So that is why, you know, they are quite vulnerable to maintain their economic activity in a pandemic moment. So this is happening right now in a mega city in a global based one. So that is why, you know, economic recession is so serious in a mega city level. But new trend is coming up. So, like you know, the circular economy in a local town is you know trying to create their own self-sustaining economy, which is one of my you know future thinking about like a huge economic social system stuff. Is they are developing right now. So they are at, they are actually much more robust economy than mega city because they can you know running their you know economic activity on their own efforts because they have a, inside. They have only kind of manufacturing functions, or housing, energy, those elements are inside in one package. So that is why you know much stronger than mega city economy. Okay. So in the future, what I'm imagining here is you know this is a picture from NASA. So currently, as we're gonna see about the city environment, just like in New York here, is a lot of lights all the time centered in those kind of you know, mega city area. But in long term, let's say you know 20 or 30 years from now, these lights is more distributed. Okay, so that's what I imagine that too, all right? So this is kind of new social trend would happen, you know, the during the mo during and after the moment of coronavirus, COVID-19, okay? And the next one, so remote work down office work. So, so this is another very kind of clear trend happening right now because in a lower cluster break outbreak risk on a remote work, also more productivity without the long commute time. So think about like, you know, 
mega city already rocking down and a lot of people starting remote working stuff and then you know let's imagine that the circulation or self sustaining economy in long term was going to happening you know and the mega city is you know also like a, you know a cra crafting in long term and in that moment since like people start to live in a local area or more far away from the you know, city area so you know once you know, we're gonna, you know, corp companies like, you know, executive member ask the you know, employee that, you know, why don't you come back to the office again? It's huge commute time to come back, you know, go, going to the office again. So it's a very unrealistic idea. So, you know, the things we have to think about the next generation stuff, so they have to, how they're gonna maintain the remote walking style, right? So this is another trend happening here too, right? Then also the virtual events is more than venue events. So, so in this, uh, this is also another related to the cluster risk in a, in a city area, because like you know, we knew you know in the past people got together like this way in a venue events and it is huge cluster risk. But you know now you know a lot of like government asked to stop the holding this kind of events. Instead, so they're gonna start with the virtual event style like by by using a VR or AR tool stuff too. So this is kind of new trend. It's happening right now. So this is you know drastically change or like how we're gonna enjoy about the you know event stuff. You know, you know, physical space to the virtual space. This is another, you know, great, you know, investment opportunity out there too. Okay. And through a kind of these activities, you know, must simply say the new social trend is, especially this is the critical one for a you know, long-term society stuff is actually, you know, SSR is more than GDP. And the SSR is sales sustaining ratio, which is actually, you know, I'm kind of inventor for this, you know, the KPI for the growth indicator for the global based one because you know we're currently pursuing the SDGs by United Nations and this goal setting is great amazing but the problem is the GDP doesn't fit you know SDGs goal settings at all because the other time all the time thinking about you know economic entire eternal economic expansion stuff that is why so to achieve these you know 17 goal stuff you know sales sustaining ratio is much more ideal economic growth indicator for us to these, you know, promote the innovation stuff too. So this is another new trend is coming up in the next you know, five to 10 years, okay? Then once we're gonna pursue in you know, a sales testing ratio, the things is gonna happen about the business stuff is actually non-profit is better than commercialism. Why? Why? Because in a commercial society, the things really happen all the time is, you know, the buy, 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 right? The Christmas season, whatever, <laughs> whenever it's gonna happening. Because like, you know, the corporation need to make money to make the profits. That's why. Because, you know, co one of the key mission of the corporation is balance sheet. You know, here's the assets, debts and net assets, especially these, these are the kind of critical because this is, you know, their own capital. Also, like, you know, the saving stuff. The, you mean, what I mean is cash flow. So all the time, corporations need to maximize these areas to, you know, expand their business stuff, right? But in a self-sustaining economy, eternal economic expansion that we don't need anymore. We don't need that. Because we have to have to maintain our economy as competent as possible. That's a key element in a self-sustaining economy, including like in a circular economy too. So from this perspective, the corporation business model itself is over. It's completely out of fashion model. So that is why, you know, the non-profit model is not better than commercialism stuff. And then as you look at like, you know, the, any other kind of like, you know, the blockchain project stuff, a lot of projects actually NPO, NG, you know, NPO model. So that is why this is the future, okay? Then, you know, when you build out the, those kind of like a new type of, the, you know, NPO, NGO model, so we have to, so now, so we have to think about, you know, the stock companies or in the parliamentary democracy itself is kind of over right now. So we had to you know, set up the new type of the governance model in the world by using technology. So the DAO is actually, when you use, they're gonna use like blockchain technology. So DAO based NPO and NGO is a new trend about how we're gonna govern inside social system stuff. And then simply say the difference between the parliamentary democracy and stock corruption DAO is like this way. So I found this, you know, on the contents on the web this, with this URL. This is a very summarized one. So before the blockchain, you know, the premium democracy or stock co companies all the time, you know, think about how we're going to elect a leader to run the organization, right? The CEO or prime minister or the president or something. This is completely all the fashion because, you know, when you look at the things happening in the COVID-19, it's kind of clear because in the pandemic moment, a lot of leader made a mistake. Because it's kind of very crisis, so you know, 
genius leader who can take the leadership at the right timing, it's extremely difficult to identify those talents in a, you know, every single moment, especially like a pandemic or a kind of classic moment stuff. Okay, so that is why this centralized fashion model is currently coming, newly coming up that we're going to minimize those kind of leaders mistake on their you know, decision making process. And instead, by using blockchain technology, we're going to develop like a more like a decentralized fashion model that each individual decision making, then we're going to correct it up just like in a correct intelligence model or sometimes we call it the wisdom crowd model. It will be a kind of new trend. How we gonna you know manage that kind of big governance model in you know kind of entire earth or entire civilization stuff okay then we're gonna eliminate the risk of these elements too but also another risk we you know in a down model try to eliminate is actually a political party model because when you look at the you know parliamentary democracy model stuff all the time we're gonna face in like in a political party model stuff and then that is why some party you know elected one leader and then those leaders only think about you know the interests of these parties and then you know these party political party also get the you know the money from in a specific stakeholder in the market so that is why not all the people can benefit from you know this one from this one leader that's kind of things that all the time typically happens in our current like a parliamentary democracy model so it's completely wrong fashion you know, old fashions and also it's completely wrong way so in a DAO model we're going to develop more democratized more fully decentralized one no political you know party model that's going to happen that way and a quite successful use case actually they're not going to use and you know, using blockchain but the wikipedia is a great successful use case about the DAO model too because like you know in their wikipedia there is no political party and the key thing is actually they only have a hundred in full time in their organizations and a 20,000 you know, volunteer based community actually maintain their you know the contents network on wikipedia and then they're gonna you know running the, the you know one of the amazing and you know, great on, online encyclopedia and also they are the fifth largest website in the world you know with this you know governance model this is great achievements and then you know you know with the blockchain with the token economy so we try to apply their success use cases more incentivized user or more like you know economy activity put you know put into this kind of you know the governance model stuff and then we're gonna develop more advanced model to govern other like in you know, type of the large project on the internet space or any other like a corporation or a business staff model here okay so this is DAO is a completely new trend that we have to pursue to develop this kind of you know, uh, management structure know-how staff next five to ten years okay and then circular economy is better than inflation economy so this is kind of like you know uh, coming back from the you know the initial slide that I you know started to do this video so you know our running from the corona shock is in this one so before the corona shock, us is completely you know damaged by the human activity. But because of like a you know, globalism completely shut down with the you know COVID nineteen, so now us environment is pretty healthy right now. And uh, this is you know you know remind us like you know we have to abandon the inflation economy model and then switch to the circular economy model with this you know to maintain these you know more green and healthy picture on the earth. And uh, this is actually pretty you know, good you know the inflation that we can get how we need to think about so seriously this kind of you know new circular economic model here is a so this is like you know the report from the wwf so you simply say the gdp put us in danger for the sustainable economy stuff because you know, once we're going to maintain about the inflation economy model inflation currency or capitalism stuff or like a globalism stuff you know this is a curve that we're going to experience about you know over consume the earth energy or natural resources on there with with that you know their you know reproduction capacity okay so country you know human activity completely overwhelming the you know reproduction capacity of the earth okay but once we're gonna experience the COVID-19 pandemic stuff you know we got the chance to this you know orange you know right here and then we're gonna you know build up a new economic system it's completely perfectly sweatable about you know friendly you know environmental friendly or the earth you know reproduction power okay so this is the key things that with the next you know 10 or 20 years we have to seriously think about it seriously develop our circular economy and ours and then to realize that the perfectly ideal circular economy the key things we have to think about is the, what type of or what kind of financial system which will perfectly fit this circular economy okay and then you know so this is the kind of key person and which is related to this circular economy 
So, because the natural deflation of currency, which is actually invented by Severo Gezel, he's a German economist and entrepreneur. He, he's going to invent the uh, natural deflation of currency. is actually very, very key element would be then critical for the sustainable economy. Okay? That's what I'm thinking, thinking about. So, natural deflation of currency, you know, completely different from the inflation of currency model, the current one. You know, once you're going to issue this currency, that currency is naturally depreciated in a specific period of time. Let's say minus 2% for three months or something. Okay? And then, you know, this guy, most people doesn't know about it well, but actually a couple of like you know, very famous economists admire his like, you know, idea, also the actions, almost it's going to happen 100 years ago. Okay? One of the good example is John Mendel Keynes. So he's like, you know, kind of an innovator for the Keynesian policy network, I know, model. They're going to also hugely co contribute to himself to the build the you know, currency system after the World War II. And then he admired the Gezel activity like this way. So Gezel's, you know, chief work is a leading in the core cool or scientific terms, although it is run through the by the more passionate and also the church in devotion to the social justice than many think if it were a you know, scholar, but I believe that you know the future the future will learn from gazelles down the from the mark spritz. So you know the this type of like you know very smart guy also I don't mind you know gazelle theory too. And then I also have a huge potential with the gazelle money in you know, a project itself too in long term. Okay. And then to understand about you know how they you know natural depression and currency is so important for all like you know post dollar like you know global stable coin project stuff please check out my other video i summarized my idea on this one so about you know four major scenario about the you know, post dollar error for the you know, global currency system stuff so please check them out okay then from here let's start about you know 